It's your boy Young Cantu coming in with a fight preview. We got a big fight in the junior middleweight division. That's 154. It's a unification between two champions. One of them is Jermel Charlo and the other one is Jason Rosario. Both guys coming in, both have belts. Rosario brings in the WBA and IBF belt after upsetting Julian J. Rock Williams back in January. Now he gets to take on the monster of the division, and that's Jermel Charlo with only one loss on his record. He lost to Tony Harrison but avenged his loss last December in a rematch where he won by 11th round knockout. Keep it locked to Airshow Sports. I'm going to break this fight down. This is an intriguing matchup between two champions. It's the champ! Where'd you find this? This is a good fight. Stylistically, if you look at it, it's a good matchup. You know, Jason Rosario is a big 154 pounder who knows how to fight on the inside. He's got range. He's got a good jab as well. And Jermel Charlo, we know how dynamic he is. But the reason I give Jason Rosario a solid chance, and I believe he's a live dog, is because he's he's on the rise. He's very confident right now. And he is a big 154 pounder. It, you know, this could pose problems for Charlo. We take a look at Jason Rosario. He's got 20 victories, one loss, and one draw. 14 KOs. His lone loss was against Nathan Gallimore in 2017. He got stopped by TKO, I believe, in the sixth round. But since that loss, he's came back to reel off eight victories, including five of those by stoppage. So he's confident. He just stopped Julian J. Rock Williams in his hometown to capture the unified belts. And now he's going into this fight against Jermel. I do believe Rosario's a live dog. Jermel Charlo's got 33 wins, 17 by knockout. He's only got one loss. That was a controversial decision loss to Tony Harrison. Charlo's got back on track since that loss to Harrison. He stopped Jorge Cota in the third round last summer. And then he knocked out Tony Harrison in their rematch last December in the 11th round. Where I was at the fight and that was a close fight. Um, I thought Harrison was doing well boxing him. But Harrison got careless and Charlo took advantage of him when he got careless and made him pay and punished him. Jermel Charlo is a strong fighter. And he's a fighter that has conditioning late. And he's a fighter that really doesn't run out of anything in the gas tank. You know, he always has gas in the gas tank. You know, he said it himself. I got jet fuel. And it's not just not the regular shit that they can get from from anybody else. Yeah, so Jermel Charlos, he's on that jet fuel, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh this is a good fight, you know, and I think it's gonna come down to who has more in the gas tank in this fight, you know. Jermel, I believe Jermel's gonna box Rosario. He's gonna show the class, if you will. And, you know, as he should, he's been a champion. He's been at the top level for a numerous amount of fights. And Rosario's relatively new to this stage. Sure, he had a big win, but Jermel must be going into this fight with the mindset that I'm an A-level fighter. Rosario is a B-level fighter. You know, he's not on my level. So, you know, I'm going to box him, do what I want with him. And when Jermel Charlo... He will explode, man. So he can knock Rosario out, you know. He's, he's very explosive. And one thing I noted uh, watching Jermel fight live is he's very patient, too. He's very patient. Some people criticize him for his inactivity and lulls of not throwing punches. But that only works against him if his opponent is capitalizing and, you know, scoring like Tony Harrison did. But in this situation... I see Jermel having supreme patience and, you know, confidence in his boxing ability to kind of teach Rosario a lesson in those early rounds. And then later as the fight wears down, I think you could see Jermel go for it. This is a good fight. I think that this fight is going to be tentative early. I think, uh, I think you're going to see Rosario hold his ground. I don't know if, uh, you know, there was spots in the Tony Harrison fight where Jermel had to box. He had to be the one fighting on the outside because Harrison was holding his ground throwing one twos Rosario's bigger than Harrison and are you I think Rosario has more power than Harrison 
So it's going to be a good fight. Those early rounds are going to be interesting. I do anticipate Jermel boxing and being patient. I see Rosario trying to walk him down, throwing body shots and hooks. I think Rosario is not going to be reckless, but I think he's going to have and apply constant pressure to Jermel to see how he reacts, how Jermel reacts. And when Jermel starts to turn up, that's when the fight's going to get interesting because we're going to see what Rosario's made of. Once Jermel turns up, you know, we're going to see where Rosario's at. And if Rosario's able to stay in that pocket and counter like he did against uh, J-Rock, then that then it's a whew, anything could happen, bro. That's what I'm saying. This is an intriguing fight. You got to lean toward Jermel. But I do believe Rosario is a live dog. And I will not be surprised if he's in the fight. If he's able to hurt Jermel Charlo, he can win. That's all I got for today. It's your boy, Young Cantu. Thanks for tuning into my video. I appreciate the love and support. And we'll stay here. Stay tuned.